All right, quarantine fog. It is March 19th. We've been on quarantine for five days, six days. I'm not sure, but I mean, don't get mad at me. We gotta keep an upbeat attitude through this, right? So here's the thing, I do monthly grocery shopping. We have enough food for like another, I mean, if we really need to, we'd be fine for like a month at least. But things are changing quickly and um, it's a possibility that the state of California, we're here in San Diego, is going to be put on shelter in place for who knows how long. And it's uncertain, I think it varies depending on what your governor puts into effect, but I, like it could mean that we can't go to the grocery store, like everything shut down. It could mean that you can still go to the grocery store. Who knows, we're gonna play it safe. So though I wasn't planning on going grocery shopping for another week to two weeks, I'm getting it done. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like for me to meal plan for an entire month and how I'm adjusting it to plan for a quarantine, to have shelter in place. All on a budget, of course. The very first thing I do every single time I'm getting ready to do grocery shopping is I inventory all the food we have in our fridge, freezer, and pantry. So that's what I'm doing now. I'll show you what that looks like. So it's super technical have a piece of paper and I have a list that says have these are the things that we have and that I can use to meal plan there we go now you can see it have so you can see that I've opened it up so I can see what's in here so I have two cans of coconut milk five chicken broth five black beans two refried beans pineapple chunks that's what I'm talking about um five cream of chicken one cream of mushroom and tomato sauce now what I have to be careful of is that because this isn't the end of my meal plan, we're still halfway through week three and still need to eat all of week four. So the plan is I'm inventorying everything, then I'm gonna take that list and compare it to what I'm gonna still need and then cross that off of the list, so I'll show you. Um, so I just pulled everything out of here and I wrote that down. Now I'm gonna head to the fridge and freezer. All right, out to the freezer. I'm not gonna tell you guys every single thing that's in here, but to give you an idea, we still have about two cartons of ice cream, so that's essential for quarantine. Some go completely new package, cauliflower rice, ribs, one or two freezer meals down here, a whole bag of chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts, unopened, so that's great. We have about two servings or two meals worth of ham, a meal worth of um, leftover turkey that's frozen, some mozzarella, and then I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six total freezer meals. Kind of what I'm thinking is that I'm not gonna include those. I'm like shivering. <laughs> it's really cold out here, so sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I'm not gonna include those in this meal plan because I don't wanna count on them. I want them to be there in case we end up needing them last minute or we can't get to the grocery store past our meal plan. Or I go to the grocery store and can't get everything I need to fulfill my meal plan, our, our meal plan, those will be our backup, so. Um, and then some chorizo, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, a thing of bacon. We've got one last thing of butter, one last pound. Um, some cream cheese, some salami. That's about it. So, I've got my list. I also looked through the inside freezer and the condiments in the fridge um, and made note of what basics we still need. So now I'm ready to meal plan. Now the other part I guess to going grocery shopping early is that we need to make sure that we have the money, right? And we always shop oh with cash. God, but the way that I teach the cash envelope system and the way I teach my better life budgeting system is to be a month ahead. So we're a month ahead of our cash envelope. So 
that's such a blessing because when there's times like this where I'm ending up needing to go grocery shopping before our normal scheduled time, we have all the cash ready to go even though it's not the first of the month. So I'll leave a link to a free workshop that I have um, for better life budgeting, my whole system, and I walk you through like the um, four step system and show you exactly what needs to be done. I'll leave a link for that down below because chances are, if you're watching this video, you're trying to learn how to save money. That's only a part of it. You need to learn how to save money, but then what are you gonna do with that money? You need to have a plan. You wanna make sure that you have an assignment for it. And what I teach is put that money that you're saving towards a better life, towards those exciting goals. And don't just let it sit in your bank account because it'll disappear. So anyways, all right, next step. Now the next thing I normally do is look through the sales. So this is Costco, I'll look up other Target and see what's on sale. But the thing is, I have a feeling with everything that's going on right now, it really doesn't matter and I just have to kind of take what I can get. But I'm still gonna look at the sales and do my best to shop the sales, so. I don't know. Okay, so that's the next step. Look at the sales. So then the next thing is I have my list of all of the food that I have in my freezer and then I just start yeah. searching recipes and I actually have a board on my Pinterest account. Pinterest is where I go. Um, sometimes I'll pull out cookbooks, but usually I just go to Pinterest because it's easy to search mm -hmm. and then I can link these recipes in my meal plan that I share with you guys. Um, so like for example, I know I have two cans of coconut milk, so I have a recipe for um, coconut curry, coconut. This recipe right here, so what I do is I go into the recipe, look up the ingredients, and then I do something special with the way I write down um, my grocery list. I have, I look through the ingredients, so I have two different ways. So anything that can be stored in the fridge, freezer, or pantry for at least 30 days goes on my monthly grocery shopping list. So that's my big giant grocery haul that you'll see the next video come out. And then over here, these are all the dinner items. This is my rough draft. I make it look pretty and then that's what I share with you guys and put up in my house. So coconut curry, then in parentheses, I write down all the fresh ingredients because that's I can't buy cilantro and then wait four weeks and then cook with it, right? So I'll show you the strategy for that. Now keep in mind, this is all an experiment yeah, when it comes. Bracelets, yeah. bracelets, you make fish tails, fish tails are bracelets. Yeah, we're making lots of bracelets over here during our quarantine. Uh -huh. um, so it's, it, like this is the idea, this is what I normally do, so make sure you're following me on Instagram and you can like keep updated on how well this is working <laughs> during quarantine. But the good news is, is I'm trying to pick all recipes. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to pick all recipes where it would be nice if I had fresh ingredients to go in it, but if for some reason I can't get to the grocery store or get fresh ingredients like red onion, jalapeno, cilantro, It'll still be a good meal. Whoa. It'll still be a good meal, even without the fresh we're ingredients. We're making bacon. It'll just be a lot healthier with them, but we're just gonna make do. So that's one thing that I'm doing different with this um, meal plan, is choosing recipes that can be made without fresh ingredients, but would be better with them. So I have the option if needed. Here's the other thing I do. So I wrote down that I'm making Hawaiian haystacks and I know that's gonna take- Dad, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I know. I have a girlfriend too. Okay. I do. Thanks. I know that's gonna take two cream of chicken. So I, over here I had five cream of chicken written, crossed that out, took out two, and now there's only three left. Normally I do this when they're at school. This literally just happened as I'm in the middle of my meal plan. So now I'm trying to figure out like if it's okay to still go to grocery stores. Hmm. Let's be real for a second. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I read the official thing from the government, from the state, and um, grocery stores and gas stations are still open and restaurants, if they can provide 
take out our open. Whoops, sorry about that. So continuing on with the meal plan. Not gonna lie, I'm super nervous about grocery shopping tomorrow. It's like, should I do it tomorrow? Or should I do it next week? The uncertainty of next week is that things change like on an hourly basis. So it feels like I should go get our grocery shopping done when I know that I can possibly get into the store if I get there early enough, I guess, and maybe get part of my grocery list. I'm going in with the mind like, I'm not gonna get everything on my list. And that's okay. We have plenty of food. I mean, we have, like if we had to, we have food storage. Do you guys wanna see our food storage? It wouldn't be yummy, but we would live, you know? Okay, here we go. Continue on meal planning. I'm gonna do a whole other video with grocery shopping tomorrow. We'll see how much I can film and, um, oh, things are uncertain. Hubby just went to go fill up all the cars with gas because who knows? Just gotta be prepared. It's better safe than sorry, right? Duh, I totally forgot a really important part to this. You need to know how many meals to plan for. So the way I do it is I only plan five meals a week. So that's five times that I'm cooking. I always make sure that at least a couple of those recipes during that week, I will have leftovers. We plan for leftovers. So, um, so then on the sixth or seventh night, we'll do a leftover night, just pull everything out. And a lot of times we can do two leftover nights a meal a week. Um, so we pull everything out. Um, and then the seventh night, typically we would maybe plan to like eat out and budget for that. Um, but we're not planning to eat out because we don't know how long that's going to be an option, right? But the other thing I plan for is a pantry night. So the sixth or seventh night is leftover night or this, and then the sixth or seventh night is pantry night. And that just means we eat things like cereal or pancakes or quesadillas, meals that take in, that don't take ingredients away from the main meal plan. So you have to look at your calendar, <laughs> which like seems funny now, right? Like there's nothing on our calendar. We can't go anywhere. We're quarantined inside shelter in place. Um, but so for this meal plan, I'm planning for five weeks. So it'll take us all the way through, um, I believe the first week in May. Yeah. Let's see. March, April, or well, the first couple days of May, um, through the second of May. That's how it works for us. Um, so that's an important tip I forgot to tell you. You need to know how many meals. So I'm planning 25 meals with this meal plan. Now I've got my list of 25 dinner ideas. I take this free meal planning on a budget um, template that you guys can have access to. So I'll leave a link in the description box. It's totally free when you sign up for my um, free email newsletter. And so um, I just, this is a like a PNG image you also get the PDF version. Um, but I just opened it up in canva.com and then these are just little like text bubbles that I put over it because I don't love my handwriting. So you can just write it in or you could do it this way, either way. So remember I was telling you have the two different grocery lists. So this is still completely separate. This is my monthly grocery shopping list. Everything I'm gonna try to find tomorrow and then everything that I put in parentheses right here, which was the fresh ingredients, as I put the meal into the weeks, and I don't assign a meal per day because one morning, I don't wanna assign nachos on Monday morning and then Monday morning, or Monday come, and then I don't feel like nachos anymore. So it leaves a little room of flexibility so you're not like locked in to meals every single day. So anyways, as I put in the meal idea here on the left, I enter over here into that week's fresh grocery haul. So the way that leaves it, this is what I love, is so I do my big giant monthly grocery haul. It takes, you know, some dedication to do that. But then if it's available on that week, I already have my grocery list ready to go. I can get in and out of the store when it's not crazy within 15 minutes. So we'll see how that goes over the next few months of quarantine. But, um, yeah, it makes it so much easy. So like this process of meal planning for an entire month all at one time, takes some time and dedication and planning. Um, usually for an entire month, researching, inventorying, you know, all these, and then actually planning, takes me about two hours. But think about it, that's two hours 
out of an entire month? How much are you stressing and worrying and grocery shopping for an entire month, right? So this system works really well and especially when you're trying to plan for uncertain times. Having all of this set up ahead of time is gonna be like so amazing. I'm getting nervous for what grocery shopping is actually gonna look like. Okay, so let me finish this meal plan and then I'll show you guys exactly what's on here. Here is my complete meal plan. This is for April, like I mentioned before. Again, if you sign up for the free template, monthly I email, email out once a month, so you have to get this like right away because I send out the um, meal plan soon after this video goes live, the, usually the day after. Um, and then what's nice about this, though they're planned around what's in my fridge, freezer, and pantry, and you need to plan around what's in your fridge, freezer, and pantry first, that's what's gonna save you the most money, but all of these recipes are a really good resource for you because they're delicious recipes that are also low budget friendly. So they don't cost a lot of money for the most part to, um, to make. So anyways, let me just go through these really quick with you. So steak and potatoes, that's gonna be our most expensive meal, but that's for my hubby's birthday. Tostadas, orange chicken with green beans, instant pot mac and cheese with ham and salad, grilled cheese with smoothies, nachos, ribs with a side veggie. Um, so I usually stock up on meat when I see it on sale, if possible. That'll be different with these coming months, right? Because we're trying to stay out of the store. Stuffed shells, so that's just kind of like a, um, a oh lasagna stuffed in the big giant jumbo shells. And then another thing to note on some of these recipes, it calls for sausage. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll sub out sausage for just ground beef because it's a lot cheaper and then add a little more seasoning when I'm cooking the meat. So that's just a little tip. Slow cooker coconut curry chicken. I This one's like on repeat in the winter time. I love it. Baked potato bar, really easy. Homemade hamburgers with fruit, breakfast burritos, pasta carbonara with salad, homemade stew, taco soup. And then in week four, we're doing slow cooker chicken tacos, spaghetti, homemade hamburgers, no, hamburger gravy, Hawaiian haystacks, grilled Italian chicken. And then um, week five, enchiladas, homemade pizza, hot dogs, creamy sausage and tomato pasta with salad, and then a slow cooker, creamy chicken soup. So when I email this out, all of these um, meal ideas, when you download the PDF, are a clickable link that'll take you to the recipe. Then our breakfast and lunches are usually the same things on repeat. So a lot of homemade stuff for breakfast, and then lunches we do like homemade Lunchables, chicken nuggets, burritos, leftovers, hard-boiled eggs, um, sandwiches, and bagels. So that is the meal plan for April. Now for my monthly grocery shopping list, um, I do have a grocery shopping list template because I like you to put out how much you're estimating it's gonna cost per item and then totaling it. So I have a template for you, um, but there's really not enough room on that for monthly unless you print out multiple copies, which would totally work. But I just do it in an Excel spreadsheet where it totals everything up for me. Oh, I wasn't even showing you. This is what it looks like. It totals it all up for you. Um, and so because we use cash envelope system, a little bit unique in the way I teach it, but um, I total, we do two different cash categories for monthly shopping, food and then miscellaneous items. So I total all the food for at Target, all the non-food for at Target, all the food at Costco, and all the non-food at Costco. And then just to make sure that I'm staying in budget, food total, non-food total. So there we have it. The more I've been sitting here and texting people and reading the news and listening to things online, I'm getting really nervous for grocery shopping. Just the uncertainty. I'm not, I'm gonna, you know, do the best I can at um, staying clean, not touching my face <laughs> and washing my hands and um, doing all those things, trying not to bring back any germs to the family either, but also, just the fact that I know I'm not gonna get everything on my list, that makes me feel uneasy. Um, but again, I'm doing this ahead of time. We don't need this meal plan for another week and a half, so hopefully I can go shopping tomorrow, get what I can, and then maybe try again Saturday morning, get what I can. Um, and then since we live up in the mountains of San Diego, there's a grocery store up here that I'm gonna try to hit, but the problem with that is it's more expensive 
than if I were able to get it at Costco or Target. So anyways, I have all the links in the description box to help you guys. I want to make sure that in this uncertain time that you guys are not freaking out and blowing your budgets because that's just going to compound the negative effects of what's going on. You don't need to go outside of your budget just because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We can still plan, do your meal planning, stick within a budget, probably even save you money if you've never done meal planning before. Not probably, it will save you money. So I have all the templates for you. And then if you're on my newsletter, my email newsletter, you'll get sent um, my meal plans. Maybe I'll send a few meal plans this month just to give you a lot of really good ideas of yummy meals that our family loves, your family will love, that are budget friendly. So let me know all your questions. I'm gonna try my best to help you guys um, down in the comments. I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new because I'm gonna also be posting my grocery haul. Wish me luck. Bye guys.